shutting down or restarting your computer is one of the tips that can fix an issue on your PC 90% of the time. But there is a right way and a wrong way to go about rebooting your device. Let me show you what I mean. The main reason why rebooting solves so many issues is that it cleans up the RAM, which is short for random access memory. When your computer is on, you have background processes running. You have logs that are being created, plus the programs that you work with create temporary caches file. Cache files are files that help your software load the information faster. A proper reboot cleans all of that out and gives your Windows system a fresh start. Now, what is a proper reboot? Is it a restart or is it a shutdown? Or it doesn't really matter. Well, it actually matters a lot. When we see the options shutdown and restart, we assume that a shutdown is more comprehensive and it kills all the processes. Well, that's not true. It is the restart that kills all of the processes. When you have to install a Windows update, it asks you if you want to install updates in shutdown or install updates in restart. Even if you select install and shut down, it is going to restart first and then shut down. That's because it wants to clean things up with the restart. You can turn off fast restart, especially if you have a modern laptop or desktop with fast SSD hard drives. The reduction of start time is going to be minimal. To disable this option, press the Windows button and type in power plan. Choose a power plan. Click on choose what the power buttons do. Down here under shutdown settings, you are going to see a check box for fast restart, which will probably be checked. If the selections are grayed out, click on change settings that are currently unavailable up here. Then uncheck fast startup. Save your change and that's it. You don't have to worry about a clean reboot anymore because every time you shut down, it is going to act like a restart. I tried with fast startup on and off and timed the boot up time on my PC and I couldn't see much of a difference, but I have a fairly powerful setup. So just test it out for yourself and see if it's worth having on or off. I hope this quick tip was helpful for you. If so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.